hi guys welcome back again to another episode of from the comment section with maureen Atchu. i hope you guys enjoy watching and please do like share subscribe be a part of my family <laughs> guys in today's video we're going to be talking about this two people like sometimes i wonder of course i know that the burden is so much on women women are to be blamed for everything a lot of times we don't even get to blame men but yeah before i share this story i just wanted to you know start my blame on women because i feel like when it comes to something that has to do with you know our body parts i feel like as a maybe because i'm a woman i feel like as a woman one should be very careful of who you go down with one should be ready to bear the consequence of whatever goes on when uh, anything happens because at the end of the day um as a woman you'll be the one to um go through a whole lot if anything go like goes the other way if you eventually get pregnant you'll be the one to go through the pregnancy stage take care of the baby so when you're anyways guys let's just go straight into this uh, story so that i don't digress and i don't confuse you all so now so I saw this story on Insta blog and it says a lady of easy virtue <laughs> has accused skit maker Oba Oyewole, also known as Rainbow, comedy of, of refusing to take responsibility after impregnating her. Went ahead to say the woman's the woman identified as Adele K. Iremi de Arike said she had a with Rainbow at his house in Agbado Ijaye lagos sometime in early may 2023 and she got pregnant he however denied the pregnancy according to her we met and i told him i needed money so he invited me to his house and we spent three days together we had and he paid me for it <laughs> i went to him and he denied knowing me however he refused to use cd Despite my plead, fast forward to two weeks later, I felt ill and a test I conducted confirmed that I am pregnant. I went to him and he denied knowing me. He said he has two wives and has blatantly refused to take responsibility for the pregnancy. Please, I want Nigerians to come to my aid. I want him to take responsibility for the pregnancy. I can't do it alone. So this is coming from the lady. So um, who do you guys think we should hold responsible? Um, before I give my opinion on this, I feel like let's just go to the comment section. And uh, my body, they do me anyhow. It just be me like, say, make I just talk what's in my mind. Okay, now let, let me just say what is on my mind before uh, before you go choke me. So I just want to say something here. Like a lot of times, I've seen um, a lot of times that women get so upset when you know um when women are called and are held responsible for a whole lot of things women get very very angry that why is it that all the time women are called all the time you know we keep putting the blames on women why is it that a man cannot be held responsible for most things most of the time is a woman um maybe because um i'm also a woman of course it is true that a lot of times women are you know called out uh, when things happen like this but you know in this situation to be honest i will blame the woman in as much as i'll blame in fact i'll blame both of them because they are both matured people but mostly i'll blame the woman because i feel like as a woman i feel like as a woman you should be very very firm when it comes to things that has to do with your body if you never wanted to you know go down with this person without a cd then you should have insisted you should have stood on your words and insisted that no i don't want to do this without this because i don't want to get pregnant you should have known better you should have known that okay if this happens um what am i gonna do do i want to keep the baby or do i want to just you know uh, get rid of the baby of course i am not even in support of one getting rid of their babies but 
you should be held accountable because at the end of the day this is your body men get away with so many things because a man is never gonna get pregnant so while you let him put everything inside you didn't you think of the other side didn't you think that oh i'm not really safe what if i get pregnant didn't you think of you know even contacting a disease from that act didn't you think of your body so uh if you look in general, you see that society is not even fair to women uh, because I don't know, sometimes I used to feel like God kind of gave so much responsibilities to a woman because it's a woman that will get pregnant, it's a woman that will carry that pregnancy for nine months, it's a woman that while pregnant she will be cooking for her family except if she's married to a man that, you know, will take up that responsibility of cooking. But at the end of the day, the man is at work. Sometimes even these women too, they are also at work. They will come back home to cook, come back home to clean come back home to do all sorts and then still you know bear the burden of while well, they're pregnant and in nine months they give back to this baby and they'll also be responsible for taking care of that child making sure that this child is you know okay and this child is growing well until that child is able to stand on their feet until she's able to leave that child and start up her life so i feel like the responsibility on women is so so much so as a girl as a young girl as a woman I feel it is very important for you to think twice before you do whatever you're going to do. You understand? It's very, very important. So for this girl coming out to, you know, say that, oh, he later impregnated me. I went to him and he refused to take responsibility. I feel like you wanted this because if you did not want it, you should have protected yourself. If you did not want it, you should have, or did you do it on purpose? Did you just, you know, purposely want to take in because you feel like this person is comfortable? Because I feel like that that is what happens a lot some girls just don't want to get married anymore a lot of girls just want to get pregnant and you know just be with uh, and have a baby for someone they feel is comfortable enough to take care of them so honestly in this very case i will blame the woman so much because um it's your body you should be responsible for your body you should be able to take care of your body you should be able to you know Take care of yourself so of course it takes two to tango of course it takes two to get down and do this thing but i'll still blame this lady because it's not even as if you're in a relationship with this person you went for hookup like you said so guys let's just go to the comment section and hear what um every other person has to say and for me i'll i'll say to the guy like this has happened at the end of the day this is your child this is your blood you should be able to be responsible to take care of your child because i feel like if you didn't want it to happen you should have used your common sense to know that you ought to protect yourself you know so take care of this your baby or of course what happened has happened and this is the result of infidelity result of cheating on your spouse on your spouses because this said guy said he has two wives so this is a result of cheating on your like your wives you know so so guys let's just go through the comment section and hear what people has to say so someone said here women una de fear me knowing that a woman is the one that suffers things like this why should you allow the man to detect how sex should go which one is he doesn't like cds does he carry pregnancy mm -hmm. case no day here because you self admitted that you were working for him for three days making him your clients so why get pregnant for a client okay another comment you're not scared of your life oh how can you sleep without protection with an hook up girl i feel sorry for the innocent wife at home we'll start treating infection up and down so someone said here did she beg nigerians to come to her aid when he refused to use condom as you <laughs> as you succumb to his decision not to use the condom please succumb to this one too if you are not dating a guy just know that it's either you use cd or open to abortion so okay someone said see disgrace and disregard he brings to his wife men will stain your white shirt of course men will stain your white shirt men will definitely stain your white shirt this one said nigerians should come to your aid for what when you they collect you ask for aid no somebody said why didn't you use contraceptive make una try the use protection even if you can't 
use contraceptive anyways congrats in advance mama ibeji mama ibeji means twins at least that yoruba i understand it if someone is insisting that madam as far as he pay you he doesn't know you business is business i also honestly feel like that even though it's wrong for me as a woman to think that way but i feel like when you were not ashamed to ask for money to sell your body i don't think you have any right to meet that man and start stressing his life out um okay when this thing happened and he said to you that he's not ready you should be able to be responsible to take care of your body take care of yourself have that child take care of your child i feel like he's is so wrong for you to decide that okay you want to start selling your body and you sold your body for money and the person paid you and you still had the guts to even allow yourself to get pregnant and you still have the guts to even go and be disturbing this man and calling on nigerians now at the end of the day um this child is now there it's only a very reasonable and understanding and a good man that can you know accept to listen to you but first of all i feel like you should admit that you're very very wrong but the entitlement is what i don't even think is right because you said this was business and if it was business then it should be strictly business so why come back again you should be able to take care of yourself someone said that's how some partner will infect their innocent spouse with different sexually transmitted diseases and other worse diseases and that's true this is how men go about to cheat on their wife and end up infecting their wife with different kinds of illnesses and uh, these women don't even know what is going on in their lives and you know tomorrow they'll be wondering where did i get this kind of infection and they keep treating infection upon infection upon infection why because you have a cheating spouse i feel like having a cheating spouse is one of the worst things that can happen to any woman honestly